Hello my fellow ham friends, this is BX2ABT, Hans in Taiwan. It's May 27th, the second day of the WPX CW contest. So no better day than to show you the latest addition to my setup. The Hypermite Active Audio Filter. Designed by David Kripe, November Mike Zero Sierra and sold by the 4 state QRP group for $19 US or 24 if you live a bit further out like I do. So what do you get for your money? You get a very professional looking double sided PCB and all the components that go on it. You will have to provide the other hardware like a bypass switch or the connectors. I run it on a 9 volt battery but you can feed it anything from 9 to 13 volts. This filter is basically four operational amplifiers in series, three acting as low pass filters and one as a high pass filter. Uh, each filter has been carefully tuned so it should not have any ringing in the resulting audio. The center frequency of the 200 Hz passband is 700 Hz and before you build, build a filter you will have to determine if this center frequency is right for you or if you want to uh, higher it or lower it. In my case I decided to tune it a little higher to better match my Kenwood rigs which meant changing the values of 8 of the resistors. Another option is how much gain the filter should deliver. If you want no gain at all, you will have to change the values of R1 and R3 respectively. Especially R3 is difficult to get to, so you better give it some thought before building the kit. In the standard configuration the gain is 50 dB, but I decided to go for the middle way and give it only a little gain, with R1 and R3 both having uh, 1 mega ohm value. This is not according to the manual, but it works for me. So, how does it sound? Let's find out. So, the hypermite is connected. Inputs from the rig, output to the laptop, where Aval Digi is running. And the TS440 is tuned to 21,009 kilohertz and it's using the 1.8 kilohertz filter okay as you can see from FL Digi there is a weak station at about 800 hertz into the waterfall and there is another station a very strong one at about 1800 hertz on the waterfall Okay, I'm gonna switch the filter on now. And as you can see, the band is. Uh, the band pass is about two to three hundred hertz right now. And the station in question is uh, YT2R. Coming in weak but readable. Okay, switch it to bypass again. Of course, I can also switch in the 500 hertz filter from the TS440. Then it sounds like this. If I switch the filter on now, then you get about the same result. Okay, so that's the filter in action. Here is another good example of what the Hypermite filter can do. We're still tuned to 15 meters 
on 800 Hz into the waterfall you can see a moderately strong station and on 1250 another one the TS440 right now is using a 500 Hz filter but even that cannot filter out the strongest station on 1250 so we're going to switch on the hypermite now and as you can see the passband has been reduced to about 200-300 Hz and it's YU1KX coming in loud and clear now ok we're going to switch it in bypass again and the difference is very clear ok here an example of uh, the noise reduction that the Hypermite can uh, can achieve tuned to 30 meters weak CW station the TS440 is using the 500 Hz filter and we're now going to switch on the Hypermite and as you can hear and see there's quite a lot of noise reduction here making the CW signal uh, much more readable well all in all the Hypermite is an excellent filter no ringing at all and it really enhances the CW signal you are listening to at $19 it has an excellent value for money and it is a good addition to any homemade or commercial rig well, I hope you liked this video, thanks for watching, I'm 73 from BX2ABT.